okay so so today i am going to explain about one of the high availability concept log shipping so it is very important okay so first of all what is log shipping so how it works first we will know the points theoretically and then we we'll move on to the practical how we can configure and these things so this is where technique technique is very simple to implement but the process is uh, process in the sense uh, we need to follow some kind of uh, uh, points okay so that we need to take care of thoroughly okay so first the log shipping is the one of the high availability option in sql server database okay so what is this how it works <clears throat> See, you already aware of the backups, right? What are the different types of backups? We discussed full backup, differential backup, and transaction log backup, right? So this log shipping is completely working based on the transaction log backups. Transaction log backup, we need to take it and we can implement on the secondary server. So this high availability option means we need two servers minimum. Okay, one is primary server and one is the secondary server, or we can call it as a DR server or COB server. So we can call in different way uh, places, uh, different uh, names. We can call it all are same. Primary server or principal server or prod server. All are same. Secondary server or COP server or DR server. All are same. So when coming to this, how it is working? It is completely based on the log files, transaction log backup files, taking backup on primary servers and restoring on secondary server. So in the meanwhile, we have some steps. We need to follow that steps. We need to configure those things. Then how it works. So let's come to the first point. Log shipping is the one of the HA option. The log shipping uh, uses the log backups on primary server continuously and applying on standby. So this is the another name. We can call the secondary server as standby. Okay. The next one. So the log shipping is warm standby. There will be there, there are the two options. Warm standby and cold standby. Warm standby means we need to make it manually on secondary server and we, we get any kind of uh, disaster happen on the primary. If it is cold standby means that will do automatically whenever the primary is not available or primary crash or primary any 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 kind of problem occurred to the primary server the secondary server will make it online automatically if it is standby cold standby if it is warm standby means if primary server crash due to any reason we need to do some manual process to make secondary server coming to online. Okay, that is the meaning of warm standby and cold standby. Okay, the log shipping comes under warm standby. So it should not come automatically secondary server coming to online. In case of anything happened to the primary, we need to do some kind of manual process. So there is no much manual process, very small process that we need to do next very important thing the log shipping involves the log shipping entire the log shipping technique involves four main jobs backup job copy job restore job and alert job so alert job is obviously just we can triggering the alert in case of any above three jobs are failed Backup job fail, it will throw an alert. This job fail, 
If copy job fail, he throwing an alert. Restore job fail, throwing an alert. The alert job will be there in uh, by default. That is no much focus on that. The main thing is the three jobs: backup job, copy job, and restore job. The entire log shipping is completely depends on these three jobs only. Any one of the job got failed, your log shipping will not work. If backup fail, backup not happen. If backup not happen, copy not happen. If copy not happen, restore not happen. So if the backup fail, the remaining two automatically fail. So first, for example, if backup is happen, so copy. If any problem to the copy, again restore also will fail. If backup done properly, copy done properly, maybe some restoration fail. So that only we need to uh, troubleshoot. So anyway, this is completely depending on the jobs. I think you got the point right. If if it is working on the jobs, means we need to take care of the agent service. We need to take care of the MSDB. So if those two things are there, then only jobs will work. If jobs will work, then only log shipping it will work. Here in the log shipping, all of the dependency is more. Okay, the process is very simple. But in case of anything problem happen, the troubleshooting is more. Where it is fail? What is agent is refine or not? Copy is fail or not? Backup is done or not? These we need to check all the aspects. Okay, let's come to the next point. Up to now clear, right? Okay, so one more important thing: backup job, copy job, restore job. Where these jobs are present? Okay, the backup job is present on primary server. That means main server, whatever the server we are using as production, that we can call it as a primary server. The backup job is present on primary server. The rest two copy and restore jobs are present on secondary server. That means standby server or DR server. So are you clear, right? This is very important interview question. What are the jobs involved in the log shipping? So you can say backup, copy, and restore. Alert is by default. If you tell alert, also fine. The main thing they are expecting. Backup job, copy job, and restore job. Again, the next question: Where backup job is available? Where copy and restore jobs are available? Backup job is available on primary server. Copy and restore job is available on secondary server. Okay. The next alert job will be present in the monitor server basically, but here three servers we can maintain. One server is the primary, one server is the secondary, one server is the monitor server. For only monitoring purpose, we need to maintain one more server. But this server is an optional, not mandatory. If you make it for monitoring one server, unnecessarily is a uh, so financial waste. Is, okay, just we can mostly ninety nine point nine nine percent in the real time also. No one will maintain the monitor server. The monitor server nothing will do. The monitor server only it monitors. If any job fail, then it will send an alert. That is by default it is happen in the primary and secondary. So unnecessarily we need to maintain the monitor server is the budget issue. <clears throat> okay, in still if you want you can maintain maintain no issue. But that is an optional no mandatory. If you maintain the monitor server, alert job will configure on monitor server. <clears throat> okay, the monitor is nothing is doing is simply monitoring primary to the secondary how things are going on. That's it. Next one, backup job. Wherever the backup job is there, we need read write permission. On backup job, I already told you when you discussed about the backups. When you want to take the backups, you need the backup operator permissions is required. If you want to take the backup, they want to 
टू थिंग्स वन इज रीड एंड वन इज राइट टू परमिशन आर रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू हैव टू परमिशन इफ यू हैव द एक्सेस ऑन द ड्राइव देन ओनली यू कैन टेक द बैकअप पर कॉपीज आप पर कॉपी जॉब कॉपी जॉब इज नथिंग इज डूइंग राइट देर इज नॉट राइटिंग एनी थिंग जस्ट सिंपली कॉपी एंड पेस्ट जस्ट फॉर दैट रीड ओनली परमिशन इज सफिशियंट ओके सो फॉर बैकअप जॉब सो इज इज राइटिंग समथिंग इन टू द बैकअप फाइल राइट सो फॉर दैट पर्पज वी नीड द राइट परमिशन ओके दट basically the those doing those things are uh, uh, will there automatically but we need to cross check okay next one log shipping uh, why we used means we know already so what is the advantage of log shipping means it is a very low cost technique the cost is very less even though if we implement the uh, log shipping that's why if your budget is low Your project is okay, uh, not that much uh, financial related crucial important things. The fifteen minutes data loss is also fine. Then you can go and use the log shipping. Is the a uh, basic premier uh, uh, cost technique. So we can set up with two servers with basic configuration is enough. <coughs> Next one. okay so this is the uh, technique this how this technique is working so this backup job is taking backups on primary server for basic certain interval of time what time you want to schedule the backups the same thing and taking the backups into the one specific location wherever we need to specify the location and second thing copy job will take the a uh, copy from that location where the backup is happened taking from that and copying into the secondary server uh, where the copy lo location wherever the location we specified in that location the copy job will copy the backup file whatever it is taken by the backup job and restore job will simply restore restoring the copied backup by the copy job the restore job will simply restoring on the secondary server with no recovery so this is the continuous process on certain interval of time whatever the schedule time you configured by default is the 15 minutes if you don't change anything by default the backups will happen on every 15 minutes if anything goes wrong there will be a chance of 15 minutes data loss in log shipping so this is the basic fundamental uh, theoretical points in log shipping so again is a very simple the log shipping is one of the high availability option it ensure to make the uh, three jobs are basically involving backup copy and restore backup job available on primary copy and restore available on secondary server so for backup job we need the read write permission copy job it will take uh, some read permissions okay so this is the uh, kind of uh, uh, transaction log backups taking on the primary and copy into the secondary and restoring on the secondary so this is a simple diagram how it works okay some more clarity on it so the left side is the print prime print sorry primary server we can call the secondary server the internal communication the only the log backups the log backups are transferring from primary to the secondary using those three jobs backup job is resides on primary server copy and restore job resides on the secondary server okay see some more additional points so what what are the prerequisites when you want to configure the log shipping so as per the microsoft suggestions the better to we keep to maintain the same version on the both side okay 
uh, whatever the version SQL Server 2014, you can maintain the SQL Server 14 version and edition. All should be the same. Okay, it should be the easy to uh, maintain instead of different versions. And next one, uh, the failover. Failover in the sense, if primary server and secondary servers are there, if primary server, if anything happened on primary server, if this got failed, so what we can do, we can make secondary server become an online. The process of when the primary server came down, you need to make up the secondary server. The process is called failover. Okay. Whenever the primary is down, you want to make secondary into online. The process of making secondary server into the online is called failover process. So this is the one of the known terminology which is frequently using in the industry. Log shipping failover, mirroring failover, always on failover. Any failover means yeah, they are downing the one server and up one more server is called the failover. The downing of the primary server and up of the secondary server is called failover. The reverse process is called fail back. Again, maybe after some time, your primary become down, primary become online. So then your problem fixed. Then you need to uh, back it to the reverse. You make it the fail back. Fail back means came to the original position. Okay, right. And one more important thing when you want to configure the log shipping, this is the database level I availability. Okay, almost anything is the database level only. You need to configure log shipping for independently for each and every database. But when you want to configure any database in log shipping, the recovery model should be full recovery model all or bulk log recovery model. The best suggestion go and use the full recovery model. It should not allow for simple recovery model. Okay. That is about the some basic, if some more uh, clarity on the internal operation. The above diagram is simple that when you see the current diagram, this is some more internally when the jobs is also involved into the picture. The primary database, secondary database are standby. The backup job is resides on the primary server. Okay. So if no monitor, no monitor server, the backup job is alert job is also present in the primary server itself. There is a one common share, common folder. Share means one common folder. We need to keep uh, all the backups. For that folder, we need the read rate permission for the backup job. This is writing into this location, backup share. The copy job simply reads the backup file from the backup share and it's loading, uh, pasting into the local server. The restore job simply taking from the a local backup copied thing from by the copy job and restore job will be restoring on the standby. The monitor server is optional. If you want, you can monitor, otherwise not required. So this is the, when jobs involved into the picture, this is the simple flow of the explanation. So that is the above diagram is the simple diagram. I got it right. This is the very important, how the, how, Currently, it is showing the same thing we are going to be implement. The primary database means primary server. Standby is the secondary server. There is a one common backup share. This is called one common location. That location should be accessible by the both the servers. The backup job taking the backups into that location. And you can maintain one location in the secondary server. There it will copy into that location, restore job will restore. It's the simple thing. Okay. So these are all the basic fundamental process of log shipping. And what are the failure cases? 
if anything fail you what are the things we need to verify this is the very uh, basically the big process this is the only the uh, thing we need to take care big process means is the very simple thing only but if thing anything goes wrong we need to uh, verify many uh, things we need to consider basically there is a there is a lot of uh, chances of if any log shipping failure so we should not go on straight tell that okay this is the point you can go on check this may be the problem but normally in other high availabilities there will be limited but in log shipping the failure uh, options are more okay why because it is depending on the it is depending on the permissions it is depending on the three jobs it is depending on the agent it is depending on the recovery model it is depending on the version edition so many things okay let's discuss one by one point okay after this session complete just please rejoin again i will show practically okay the first one the job is disabled by anyone okay for example unfortunately if the backup job copy restore jobs are there right if anyone job is disabled so if job disabled that is not working obviously it will fail backup job is disabled let's assume the backup is not happen obviously the log shipping will be failed any job okay so that we need to verify it first thing all jobs are working fine or not we need to check it next one backup share permission okay so initially we given the permission later point of time maybe os reboot or some kind of internal operations maybe that folder got deleted or maybe some permissions got denied so again uh, we are unable to take the backup into that location so we need to check the permissions problem see basically every time we need to verify all the things means no these are all the reasons to fail the log shipping maybe any one of the reason any one of the reason there will be a chance of failure in the log shipping but if you got fail any error we can able to see the error directly you can go and check the error you can directly go the troubleshoot in directly no need to troubleshoot all the points for every time if job is disabled you can you can verify in the job is disabled and you got error and you can verify and fix it no need to check the other all the possibility cases but these are all the possibility cases uh, there is a chance of log shipping failure next one there is a space issue okay for example you are taking the backup on some location a location means there will be in drive right maybe g r h r i r any drive maybe that drive got full so your backup is not able to take so maybe that is also reason to fail the backup next one sql server agent is stopped maybe it was rebooted or someone stop the agent service then obviously if agent stop nothing will work backup fail or restore fail copy fail everything will fail maybe any server in primary or secondary if any uh, service is not working then your agent is not working then log shipping will fail next one see basically this these are all we should not do anything in the wantedly this will happen unexpectedly or by mistakely okay next one manual log backup to in case of ls break so for example already log log backup is going on right log backup is working on sequence number lsn sequence number log sequence number so if anything if you took the manual log backup so lsn chain will be mismatch so your log shipping will be break already backup job is taking the log backups there will be one sequence but you wantedly interrupting that backup job and taking one more log backup so obviously the lsn chain mismatch for example you took the manual backup at 8 o'clock 
already 745 backup job was taken you took again eight o'clock again backup job is also trying at eight o'clock maybe whatever you, whoever is completed first and the next year lesson number will be get mismatch you are not copying that your manual log backup into your backup location that will not copy into the secondary that will not restore so obviously the lsn mismatch will come your log shipping will break this is the common mistake happened everywhere they forget the log shipping was configured on the database there are some reasons they are taking backup so this is the common issue uh, we need to find out next one recovery model is basically full or bulk maybe someone is change it to the simple obviously this will also cause to the log shipping failure maybe any permission issue to the any job okay so again the network issue maybe both the servers are communicating through the network only if network is not properly happened so there will be a chance uh, this is also frequently coming next this we are not doing anything we simply mail send to the network team or uh, windows team the we are unable to connect to the so and so location so and so server we are getting network issue please work and fix the issue they will fix and come to us we are not doing anything okay next maybe anyone uh, change the recovery models maybe service accounts service accounts also very important are you creating your own service accounts or using default service accounts if you create your own service accounts, then you need to take care of that service accounts where you configured. So if you if you delete the service account or if you uh, denied the permission for the service accounts, the log shipping will be again problem. You config use the same login for log shipping configuration. You delete that login, so there will be a problem, right? So if you use the default, then it's fine. But in the real time, mostly they will create the own service account for better security. So maybe any backup is corrupted also, same problem will come. Maybe sometimes time zone issues between the one server to another server. One server is in IST time zone, one server is in BST time zone, or different time zones, we need to take care of the timing, right? Backups is working on the timing schedule. If timing schedule means we need to take care of uh, timing zone as well. By default, just we need to cross check. So these are all the uh, some basic information about the log shipping. So please rejoin again.